Mark. I'm here with Pastor Jeremiah, and we want to talk to you about the Bible. The Bible, I mean, it's one of the, 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 the main the main sources that we have to hear God's word. I mean, for me, that's that's my big why for wanting to read the Bible. I have a chance to to see it all from beginning to end because that's that's what the Bible is. It's from one God. It's it's one book. It's one story, one plan of our salvation. But there's so much to it. It, it breaks down into into so many things. Jeremiah, what what are what are some of the breakdowns that you see in the Bible? Yeah. So the Bible it's it's broken out down in, into two parts: the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament meaning everything before Jesus came. The New Testament is everything when Jesus was born and after him. So that's the easiest way mm-hmm. to really break it down. And then even within that, the Bible is broken down to even smaller parts, almost like genres. Mm-hmm. Um, you have in the Old Testament, you have like historical books that are going to tell you about how the Jewish people came into being. You have books of poetry and books of wisdom and, and Proverbs, just how do we live life. Um, and then you have these prophetic, also history books towards the end of the Old Testament. And then the New Testament, you have the first four books, which are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which look at Jesus's life. And they're all sort of, they have a different flavor. Like each of us have a different personality. They're telling the same story, but in their personality. So you might read one gospel and read another one. And one talks about Jesus talked to two guys. The other one talks about Jesus only talked to one guy. But it's it's the personality. It's how each person sort of mm-hmm. took it, and and then also in the New Testament you have letters, um, and you have the, the Book of Revelation, which many times people can be intimidated from. But the Bible's just got so many different ways that he can that God wants to talk to you in and through it. And, and I think with in all of its size and variety, and it, choosing not to be overwhelmed or intimidated by it, but just looking at it as this is God speaking to me. And I think that's going to give all of us a, a hunger to just sit down and 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 check it out and see what God has to say. We want to talk a little bit about how. And really, the big question that we get asked all the time is, where do I start? I mean, do I just turn it open and, and read or do I go to page one and read? We don't always recommend that. Uh, you know what? We, we like to tell someone, maybe in your shoes, why not start with the book of Mark? It's one of the four Gospels that Jeremiah talked about. There's 16 chapters there. It's fairly short, action-packed, and you're going to get a great a great look at who this Jesus yeah. is. From heaven to earth, came to live. He had the power of God. He is God. He w- What did he do? What does his life look like? What was his mission? Check out the book of Mark, and, and, and you're really going to... It's really going to help you get to know Jesus. And then in the Old Testament, there's some amazing stuff in the Psalms and Proverbs. And and you know what? You could just take one of those a day. Again, this isn't something I, I, oh, I'm going to sit down and try to read five hours of. I mean, if, if you want, go for it. But again, this is a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with spending five to 10 minutes a day yeah. reading the Bible. God will bless you for that. And God will speak to you. As, as you read his word, I guarantee it. And, and there's there's a tool that, that we most of us have on our smartphone, accessible, it's free. It's called the YouVersion Bible app. Jeremiah, you want to tell them exactly what that looks like and how to how to get the most out of it. So you want to go to your app store, whatever, depending on what kind of phone you have, go to your app store and, and look up YouVersion. And it's going to be the YouVersion Bible. It's going to be a brown Bible. Um, and then once you get onto there, you're going to find multiple different translations of the Bible. And and you might wonder what, what is that? It's, it's almost just different wordings uh, of, of God's word. Some is, it's going to be a little more traditional. You're going to have King James. Um, you're going to have a bunch of these and thous, and you're going to have more modern day language in like a new living translation. At City View, you're going to find that we use the new American standard the English Standard Version, and the New Living Translation. Those are going to be the three main ones that you're going to find at City View. So when you when you download that app, you're going to see on the bottom, there's there's a home button. That's going to sort of bring, that's going to give you a verse each day. Um, every day there's going to be a new verse there. Uh, and, and then you're going to find different people. If you, you can follow people, it's sort of like a social media where you're going to see what your friends and what other people maybe at church are highlighting, mean, meaning liking on there, creating little images. And then you also are going to be able to see this thing called plans. 
A plan is, it, it's something that somebody has taken time. It, it's sort of like a, if you come to church, you're going to hear a whole sermon, 30 minutes. It's where somebody's taken almost a whole sermon and they've shortened it down to a short little reading. Something that you could do quick five, 10 minutes in the morning. You have a couple verses, some words of encouragement to help you throughout the day. And that's the Version Bible app. And so not only can you use it in a day-to-day kind of reading, but you can also use it at church every single Sunday. And you might wonder, how do I, do I have to bring my Bible to church? Do, I don't even have a Bible. Where do you even buy a Bible? Um, because they're, they're not as easy to come by anymore. You can't, there's not as many Christian bookstores. Um, you can go on to any other store online, mm-hmm. but your phone, it's, it's right there for you. And so you can go on your phone. There's the, there on the bottom. There is this this place that says more, and you can find events. And when you go to the events, a map is going to show up. No, to find it best, you're going to need to have lo- your location settings on, and you'll be able to scroll and find City View Church. When you find City View Church. Right there, you're going to see every verse in the translation that whoever's speaking from that morning, mm-hmm. every verse in our main points are going to be right there where you can easily follow along and write notes as you go. It's super easy and convenient for all of us. Man, so right there in that free app, there's a lot of great ways to help you get started in reading the Bible. Uh, for, for me personally, I just want to tell you, what my morning looks like. I'll wake up. Mark, and I, why do you say, if you don't mind, why do you say your morning? Well, I like the morning because it's how I it's how I start my day. So what I do in the morning sets the tone for the rest of my day. And I find that when I start my day reading the Bible, allowing God to speak to me, when I start my day with prayer, hmm. it just sets the tone for the the kind of yeah. day that I want to have, and definitely the kind of day that God wants me to have. And and it, and it's not necessarily any certain amount of time or certain amount of reading. But like, for for example, right now, I've been reading through the, the book of 1 John. I, I'll typically read about a chapter and and as maybe a phrase or a word even sticks out at me, I might just underline it and and just talk to God about it and and, and reflect, okay, what, what does that look like in my life? Is there something there that I need to do? Is there something I need to be reminded of? Is there, uh, it, it, it's amazing how, Something that was written thousands of years ago is yeah. continuing to speak to someone like me, uh, and it just it it amazes me how big God is and how how eternal His Word is. And so in the, in the mornings I'll, I'll read about a chapter and I and I kind of like I said hone in on a phrase or a verse and and I'll just talk to God about it. I might journal and and we're gonna talk a little bit about prayer in another video. But really that's as simple as it looks like. And, and my wife and I we tend to usually we'll read a psalm together every single day, if not other parts of the Bible. So it, it's it's a great way to to build your family and your relationships and your friendships as well, reading the Bible together with other people and talking about it, as well as reading it, you know, in, in your own alone time in the morning. Yeah. How about you, Jeremiah? You know, I, I, I like to get up. I'm a morning person. I know some of you might be night, night people. Like, don't get so rigid that yeah. you have to force yourself into one thing. Remember, it's not religion. Yeah, it's, it's a relationship. But for me, I, I'm the same. I like to start my day off that way. I don't want to start off with the news. I don't want to start off mm. with social media. I want to start off with the Word, with, with with the Bible. And so I like right now. I'm reading through the Bible in a year. I'm not going to recommend that to everybody because you can easily die, but easily <laughs> slow down or you know give up on it. But I, I like to read usually like a gospel. Um, that's Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. Maybe the book of Ephesians is a great book I love to read. Um, and then what's fun is the book of Proverbs mm, has 31 yeah. chapters. So you can read one every day of the week for a month, and then you start all over again. And what's crazy is you'll find something new each time. And what I like to do is I keep a small little notebook journal with me always because there might be something I want to write, something that jumps out at me, maybe something I want to pray about. But that's what I do. I change it up. I don't always sit in the same seat. I don't always read the same thing. But I'm always focusing on God. That's my focus, my start of the day. And no matter what you read, watch how God will bring that truth up or bring that promise up in your life that day. Whether it's from Psalm, Proverbs, or any of the rest of the Bible. It's just amazing how God continues to speak through His Word. It's the Bible, and it's just waiting for you to jump in. Start today. It's going to be amazing. If you have any questions hmm. about where, what, maybe something you read, feel free to ask us. We'd love to talk to you. 
So you can always email at info at cityviewphx.com or, or come find one of us and we would love to walk with you. Thank you.